Okay, we've uh, left the Farm Migrant Labor Center and we're now over here at the Yerger Middle School and uh, there's a notice that there's a, a, a practice field back over here, big patch of ground. We're going to try and hunt it. I noticed there's an old sidewalk over there too that leads out to the road, so we might find some, some older stuff here. I don't know, we'll try. We've done the okay on a bunch of clad over there. I got over $3 in clad over yonder. I uh, found about 12 clad quarters and uh, five clad dimes, two Jefferson nickels, and a, uh, some memorial pennies and a few other items, but uh, no silver. But it's real wet over there and we decided we'd leave and, and wait and let that dry out a little bit. And uh, this is my second spot today. I wanted to hunt for a little while before dark. So we're going to give it a shot. I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Well guys, I think I just found my first wheat penny of the day. It's pretty crusted up. I'll take a better look at it when I get home. And uh, I'll uh, let you know something. I'll see you later. I guess this will be the tip of the week for you guys. Uh, but before we start in on that, I want to say uh, I belong to a forum on the internet called Treasure Quest. And uh, it's a pretty good forum. There's a lot of forums on the internet, you know, for metal detector hobbyists, you know. Uh, whites, Treasure Net, just different ones, you know. But I like Treasure Quest. They have them. Their folks over there are real, real kind, real nice. And uh, they have a lot of good topics, uh, different links that you can click on. I got metal detecting, uh, all kind of metal detecting articles, uh, links uh, like, uh, uh, well, there's different things like member announcements and they have, uh, 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 just different things. Uh, uh, they got metal detecting tips, that's really what I wanted to talk to you about today, uh, right now. I went on there and I looked through all the metal detecting tips everybody gave out. They listed, they had like nine pages of metal detecting uh, tips and uh, they were all real, real good, you know. Some of them I can use, <laughs> need to buy me a uh, pin pointer, you know, and uh, or a pistol probe or whatever, you know, one of them, one of them probes, you know, my brother, Denny Head Joe, he got one. But I ain't been able to afford one yet. And uh, they had several good, real good tips on there, you know, and about nine pages worth of tips. And all real good, but I, I never heard one person say anything about when you leave to go out metal detecting, okay, a lot of times you'll, uh, You'll go out maybe off the beaten path, you know, especially Civil War relic hunters and, you know, these guys that go out and hunt these old home sites way off out in the woods somewhere. Uh, you always want to remember to uh, and let your family know where you're going when you when you leave out. I guess that's common sense, but, uh, you know, it's, it's good to, to let folks know in your family, you know, where you're going and... Uh, how long you think you're going to be, you know. And uh, another tip I can give you is uh, know your directions. If you, if you get lost out in the woods, I mean, it's easy to get turned around. I, I used to turkey hunt years ago, and uh, I'd still do some every now and then. But you get out there in them woods, you can get turned around real easy, you know. Everything looks the same, you know. It, it, now, I was raised up in the woods hunting and fishing all my life and you get out there and you get turned around and it's easy to, to uh get scared and, and panic and and you know do the wrong thing so uh it's best when you go out there hunting for these old home sites or you guys go off the beach pad look for these civil war camp sites and stuff you know uh take your compass you know and and uh always take you some uh well, just like I got it on coat today, it's cold out here today, believe it or not. But uh, take you an extra pair of clothes, you know, some some something warm, you know. Uh, uh, take some dry matches, 
you know, wrapped up in aluminum foil, you know. Uh, and if you get out there in the woods and you get turned around and you can't figure out which way is back to the back to the vehicle, uh, you might just you know uh, stop, sit down, for a minute, calm calm yourself down a little bit, you know, uh, get your head straight, you know, and then think now and listen, you know. A lot of times, a lot of times you can hear traffic running on the road somewhere, or if you listen real good, you might can hear a train off in the distance on a railroad track somewhere, you know. And a lot of a lot of us hunters, when we're out in the woods, if we're hunting, there might be a creek or a river, you know, that runs runs through the woods, you know, that runs back to a main road somewhere. And today, uh, most of all today, uh, a lot of there's a lot of leases here in Arkansas, and I know there's leases in Texas and other states too. Uh, a lot of these lease lands have lease roads and have have four wheel wheelie trails on them. So you can, you know, uh, if you get turned around, you know, keep your eye out for a four wheelie trail or, or you know, an old logging road or something that might lead out to a main road. Uh, but I guess, uh, and uh, if you if you're going on like a management area or something or a park something like that let the park rangers you know and then uh, or wildlife officers or whoever's there know that you're there okay and uh i guess you know pretty much uh, this is my tip of the week but listen just remember one thing if you get turned around the worst thing you can do is panic don't panic okay just calm down you know Think about what you're doing. Sit down for a minute. Get your head clear, okay? And then, and then get up and listen, you know, for telltale signs of, you know, traffic or or trains or or something, you know. Uh, like I said, get yourself a compass, you know. Uh, some people use these GPS deals, you know, or whatever, you know, them uh, meters or whatever for directions, you know, before they go out. And uh, uh, I think I said that right. Um, also, uh, you might check, uh, uh, you might listen to uh, when you're out there in the woods or off the beaten path and you can't get your directions straight. There's a, an old uh, farmer's almanac, I guess. Uh, I don't know who come up with it, but it's a true deal that moss, Grows on one side of the tree. I don't know if it's moss grows on the north side or the south side. I don't forgot now, but uh, most of the older folks know that. Okay, so uh, you can ask and find out on that deal before you go out. You know, but you just uh, if you get turned around, don't panic. Take your time. You know, and you'll be all right. You know, but anyway, uh, that's my tip of the week. All right, here's my find for today. I got 13 clad quarters, uh, 12 clad dimes, five Jefferson nickels, and 27 memorial pennies. And I got three, I think, wheats. And I don't know what this other one is. I can't make out anything on it. And I got a couple of airplane toy parts, the wing, the end, the wing parts, you know. And uh, another, another little plain wing, I think, it uh, broke off. But I, I, the toy wasn't there, it's just the wing part. So anyway, them were neat little finds. And then uh, I found that thing up there. And uh, so anyway, that's it. That's my day. Uh, it's pretty cold out here, guys. And the wind's whooping it up. And I haven't been out in this mess all day long and I about had all I can stand to this wind. So I'm gonna let y'all go by saying this is Ula. Good luck with your hunting and God bless.